Hi, I'm Crypto Lou and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking you through MetaMask, which is a handy Ethereum wallet tied into your Chrome browser. And I hope you enjoyed this video today and if you do then please give me a thumbs up as it really helps me to grow my channel and understand what kind of content you enjoy. So what is MetaMask? Well, it states here that MetaMask is a bridge that allows you to visit the distributed web of tomorrow in your browser today. And it allows you to run Ethereum dApps right in your browser without running a full Ethereum node. So what does that mean? Well, MetaMask is basically a Chrome browser extension for using the Ethereum blockchain in a normal browser. So it's an Ethereum based wallet and therefore really useful when you are going through and storing ERC20 tokens. So if you are getting involved in things like ICOs, then you've probably already heard of MetaMask. And you can also use it in conjunction with the likes of my Ether wallet and the Ether Delta exchange. Now I've actually done full tutorials and reviews of both of those. And what I'll do is I'll put them in the top right hand corner now. And you can install the MetaMask add-on in Chrome, Firefox, Opera, and the new Brave browser. So the first thing you need to do is go to metamask.io. And then if you click on to get Chrome extension, I click on to add to Chrome. You'll then be presented with a Google Chrome message. Obviously do go through and have a look at that information with regards to adding extensions and do your own research. Then click on to add extension. You'll then see that it's been added to Chrome. So it appears as a little Fox icon on your Chrome browser. And you'll then be presented with a little privacy notice that states that MetaMask is beta software. When you log into MetaMask, your current account is visible to every new site you visit. For your privacy, for now, please sign out of MetaMask when you're done using a site. So what we now need to do is click on to accept. Then you need to go through and read the terms of use. And once you've scrolled down to the bottom, you can then click on to accept. And at this point, you will then need to put in a password. So just please note that this does need to be a minimum of eight characters. So just type that in and then you need to go through, confirm your password and then click on to create. So now I'm going to be presented with 12 words that are my only way to go through and restore my MetaMask account. So you do need to make sure that you do go through and you save them somewhere safe and somewhere secret from anywhere else. Because basically, if someone else does get access to these words, they will have control over this wallet and over your funds. So ensure that you keep them offline, keep them safe somewhere safe. And then what you can do is you can select, I've copied it to somewhere safe or save seed words as a file. So you can go through and save those. So first of all, what you'll be presented with is the wallet itself. So in here, you can go through and give it an actual name. So if you don't want it to be called account number one, what you can do is give it something a little bit more meaningful and then click on to save. And if I click onto the three dots, I can then do several things from here. So I can go through and I can view my account on Etherscan. So if I click onto view account on Etherscan, now, obviously this account is just for test purposes. So this is currently set at zero at the moment, but what I'll do is I'll show you a live example of another address. Now in here, you can view all the full information with regards to this public address. So I can view here my ETH balance and that will show me that in Ethereum. I can then view the US dollar equivalent of that value. I can view the number of transactions. And with regards to those transactions, it then provides me with a little bit further detail. So I can view here the block. I can have a look at the age. So that's how long ago that transaction went through. I can view the from address. I can view the to address. I can view the value. And I can also have a look at the fee that I've actually gone through and paid for that transaction. And if I do have any additional tokens, it will also appear in the token balances drop down. I can show my QR code. So if, for example, I do want to send funds across into this wallet, what I can do is scan using that QR code. I can also copy my address to the clipboard again for if I am going through and sending my funds across from another wallet or from an exchange, I can do so using that address, which is going to be my public address. And from here as well, I can export my private keys. Now, one thing to mention with regards to your private keys is that you should keep your private keys private. If anyone has control over your private key, they will then have control over your assets and your funds. But you can go through and simply export private key from here as well. You then have the ability to buy or to send. Now, what I'm going to do is click on to buy. And in here, I have a couple of different options. So I can go through and I can select different services. I can select Coinbase or I can select Shapeshift. Now, with regards to Coinbase, that is only available in the USA. So you, if you are based in the UK like I am, you will have to go through and select Shapeshift. And what you can do in terms of Shapeshift is if, for example, you want to convert BTC to Ethereum, you can then go through and type in the amount that you would like to exchange into Ethereum. It'll then provide you with the exchange rate. It'll provide you with a limit, what the minimum is, 
And what you can then do is place your refund address into the BTC address and then click on to submit. Now just taking you back to that main screen, what you can also do here from here is send. So in here, if you are using MetaMask as that middleman kind of extension, what you can then do is send your funds across to a certain recipient address. So you could send that across to an exchange, for example, or you could be sending that across to another address. So what you would do is type in the recipient's address into this section or simply copy and paste. Now, one thing to be aware of is ensure that you do put the exact address into this address section because transactions are not refundable. So what you would do is put that address into that section. Then you would type in the amount, so the amount that you're then choosing to send, and then you would click onto next. Then what it will do is it will take you through a confirmation status where it will then show you the gas fees, which you can obviously go through and change. Now, I have actually done a tutorial on the ETH gas station. So if you want to take a look at that, then please feel free to do so. And it will give you some ideas and indications of what different types of gas fees that you need to pay to get your transaction through a little bit quicker. And it will then send that transaction for you. Now, MetaMask is an Ethereum wallet, so you can hold ERC20 tokens within the MetaMask wallet. So if, for example, you've entered into an ICO using the public address from your MetaMask wallet, you can then go through and view that within your wallet. So if, first of all, if you go to add token, and you can then put in your contract address. Now, we can get that from Etherscan. And if we then go to token balances, I can then view my different tokens. So I'm going to click on to better betting. And I can then copy my ERC20 contract address from this section. And then I can paste it into my token address. My token symbol will then automatically change to the correct symbol. And then it will then automatically bring in the decimals of precision. And then you would click on to add and it will appear in your tokens. Now, one thing to mention with regards to your ERC20 tokens is that you can't actually send them from MetaMask. What you'll actually need to do is go through and connect that to my Ether wallet. Now I'm going to be doing a further tutorial on how you actually go through and do that. And what I'll do is I'll put that in the top right hand corner now. And if I then take you to these three lines in the top right hand corner here, and if I go to settings, now from here, what you can do is you can reveal your seed words. Now those are the seed words that we saw at the very beginning that helps you allow to go through and back up your account. So it allows you to access to your funds or your account, even if you do lose your laptop or your browser dies. Also from the lines in the top hand corner, you do have that ability to log out. So please ensure that as soon as you have finished using the MetaMask wallet, you do go through and log out of your account. They also have an info and a help section that then provides you with the version that you're currently running. You can go through and you can also visit their support center, visit their website, and you can go through and have a look at their Twitter page. Now this is obviously a really good place if you wanna see what's going on and have a look at any updates. Now that was a very brief overview of how you go through and use the MetaMask wallet. And I hope that you found it useful today. And if you do, then please give me a like. And if you did find it useful and you feel that it may benefit others, then please feel free to share. And if you'd like to see more tips, reviews and tutorials, then please hit subscribe. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.